this video we are going to look at mixed examples of direct and indirect proportion and we are going to focus more on the method 2 the way of asking it in ordinary level you will find this on page 40 in the ordinary level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success I want you just to do number 5 and number 9 okay and do it on method 2 okay so let's start. Stop the video. As soon as you have finished, you can continue the video. Number five. The quantity y varies as the cube. Now, now again, they don't say indirect. They don't say direct. But if they say nothing, they mean direct. Okay. As the cube of this. So actually, y is the proportion sign. Cube, not cube root. Okay. So that will be the value. But now, I'm just going to put in a value of k to make it an equal sign. Oh, cube, cube. I have a square there. Cube. Now I must find that value of k. So they must give me more information. When y is 32, x is 0. So let's fill it in. So y is 32, x is 0. And this is 2 times 2 times 2, it's going to be 8k. So divide 8, divide a. So basically, the value of k is going to be 4. So therefore, write the equation down. Let's write it nicely. So y equals 4, and keep that value. And remember, it's cube. Okay. Now I'm just going to use it. Find y when x is 1. So now, in the place of x, use the equation, put a 1, and that's 3 to the power 3, and 3 to the power 3 is what? It's 27, and that value is 108. So, therefore, the value of y is 108, and that's your final answer. Okay, I'm going to clean, and then I'm going to do number 9. So this was direct proportion. Actually, very easy. Just look at the way of asking. Sometimes they break it up in two parts. First letting you find the equation, and then they ask you to use it. Otherwise, it's just one sum, but you still have to find the equation first. Okay, let's look at number nine. W varies inversely as the square root of x. Square root. Make sure that you don't make get okay incorrect things there. So y okay, oh I made a mistake. It's inversely, so it's one over. So luckily I picked it up. Okay, now I must find the value of k. So when x is 4, w is 4. Multiply, so the value of k is going to be 8. Okay, so then I'm just going to go on. So I have now that the value of k is going to be 8. And now I substitute, so let's just, here, here I'm substituting in. So W equals 8 over square root X. This is my equation. Okay, but find W when X is 25. So we're just going to use it. Put the square root of 25. So 8 over 5. And then my, the value of W equals 1.6 so therefore w equals 1.6 and that is my final answer the more you practice the better you're going to become